Warning, the Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation. Talk radio for the thinking person, home of borders, language, culture. And here he is, Michael Savage. A leader is best when people barely know he exists. Less good when they obey and acclaim him. Worse, when they fear and despise him. Lao Tzu. What we are going through in America is an example of an ancient Chinese dictatorship. On a minor scale, I recognize that this finds itself in the conspiracy bin of the brain dead and the drug addicts in the United States of America. But looking now for one story, maybe one story on the death of... Uh, the Supreme Court Justice who stood between Obama and the total takeover of the American government and the American people. There are no stories other than one article that I wrote, which is still on the Drudge Report. World Net Daily wrote it from my show yesterday. Savage was Scalia murdered. It's been on the Drudge Report all night. Other than that, Alex Jones has a few stories on it. Fox has nothing. New York Post had one article by a detective Detectives question lack of autopsy and Scalia death. Jamie Schramm and Bob Fredericks, New York Post. Veteran homicide investigators in New York and Washington, D.C. on Monday questioned the way local and federal authorities in Texas handle the death of Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia. It is not unreasonable to ask for an autopsy in this case, particularly knowing who he is. Retired Brooklyn homicide detective Patricia Tufo told the Post, he's not at home, there are no witnesses to his death, and there was no reported explanation for why a pillow is over his head, said Detective Tufo. So I think under the circumstances, it's not unreasonable to request an autopsy. Despite the fact that he has pre-existing ailments, and the fact that he's almost 80 years old, you want to be sure that it's not something other than natural causes. Bill Ritchie, a retired deputy chief and former head of criminal investigations for the D.C. police, said he was dumbstruck when he learned that no autopsy would be performed. Quote, I took a look at the report, and I almost fell out of my chair, Richie told a post from his home in Maryland. I used to be an instructor in the homicide school. Every death investigation you were handling, you consider it a homicide until the investigation proves otherwise, Detective Richie said. How do you know that person wasn't smothered? How do you know it's not a homicide until you conduct an investigation? You have to naturally... You have to do your job. Once you go through that process, you can conclude that this is a naturally occurring death. Presidio County Judge Cinderella Guevara, that's not an invented name. I realize as a fiction writer, you would think I'm making up the name Cinderella, but her name is Cinderella. And Cinderella herself could not do a worse job than Cinderella, Judge Cinderella, who they found somewhere in Texas. You've got to listen to the soundbite of Judge Cinderella Guevara on declaring Scalia dead and deciding against autopsy in clip 01. Go ahead. One of the things that I did ask the sheriff and the marshal that was there, if there were any signs of foul play, and what they said, say? absolutely not. And then at that time, I still wanted to be careful, and that's why I asked if the physician would call me. His heart did stop. On the death certificate, it'll say myocardial, myocardial infarction. You hear this? She couldn't even pronounce the words. Myocardial, she, myocardial infarction. A fifth, sixth grader, baby. Uh, a fifth, sixth grade education. This is a judge in Texas. Myocardial, infa uh, myocardial uh, infarction. She wanted to speak to the physician who was not there. Physicians in Washington, D.C., he knows already what happened in Texas. You hear this? This is, the, this is what passes for intelligence in America today. How in the world... Can a Texas judge named Cinderella, not even seeing the body, say that this is a heart attack? How does a U.S. Marshal know it was a heart attack? He's not a coroner. He's just a U.S. Marshal. He's a thug. He goes in and kicks in doors, shoots dogs, and arrests people for small crimes. That's what a Marshal is, basically someone that they roused out of a ranch or a bar to beat people up and, and rip them out of their house in the middle of the night uh, on spurious charges. Just joking. But they're not medical professionals, are they? 
So I can ask you the question and we can move on. If you Should we move on? There's nothing to see here. Would you like me to stop? Would you like me to stop? Because it's not in the news. It's not, a, it's not in the news. It didn't make it to the New York Times. Didn't make it to any of the major newspapers in America. Therefore, it's a non-story. Why, Fox has moved on. There's nothing to see here. Why, we're talking about the election again, aren't we? This is the biggest case of our lifetime. It was a heart-stopping event over the weekend. And nothing, zero. Zero, nothing. Like, am I the only person in the world? Well, let me ask you this way. Let me ask it to you this way. Being an independent, not tied to either party, being an outsider looking in, whether it's politics or whatever the subject may be, just as a, a, a curious question, are you not curious as to whether this could have been foul play? You're not curious about it at all? So let me reverse it for you again, all you geniuses on the left, all you progressive geniuses. Let me reverse it for you as I did yesterday. Let's say, God forbid, it was the most extremist left-wing judge on the court, Ruth Bad Girl Ginsburg, who never should have been appointed. She was the former head of the ACLU legal division. How she ever became a Supreme Court justice is a product of the rhinos on the Republican side. But she was made a justice. She has destroyed the law in America on a daily basis. Put in on the Supreme Court. So let's say even though she's been sick with cancer for over 10 years, suddenly she goes to a remote resort in Texas. She has no protection. She goes to sleep saying, I'm tired at 9 o'clock, and she's found the next morning full, fully clothed with her pajamas on, not a wrinkle on the bed, with her hands folded over her chest, with a pillow over her head. And there's a Republican president. Do you think the New York Times and the Washington Post will be demanding a, a, a private investigation, like a Warren Commission? You betcha. So why is there no discussion of this? Where is Ted Cruz on this? And where's Ted Cruz? He's such an independent. How come he said nothing on it? Oh, let's start with Ted Cruz. He's the originalist, the greatest man on earth. He's as pure as the driven snow. He's George Washington and Thomas Jefferson combined, Ted Cruz. He said nothing on this issue. Trump was on my show yesterday. Even he said something. What did Trump say? He said, it's pretty unusual. I didn't want to drag him into this. I'm asking you why the media is not covering this. That's what I'm asking you. Trump says, pretty unusual Scalia was found with pillow on his face. When did he say that? During a Tuesday interview with talk show's Michael Savage, Donald Trump seemed to lend some credence to the conspiracy theories. See, they're trying to make him sound bad. That Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia was murdered, saying it was pretty unusual they found a pillow on his face. Donald, I need to come back to the topic we've all been screaming about here, which is Scalia, was he murdered, Savage said. I know it's pretty brutal to say that, and I'm not wanting to drag you into this, but this is going to be bigger and bigger and bigger. I went on the air and said we need the equivalent of a warrant commission. We need an immediate autopsy before the body is disposed of. What do you think of that, Savage asked? Trump avoided giving a straight answer, saying he didn't know enough. Well, I just heard today, you know, I just landed, and I'm hearing it's a big topic. But they say they found a pillow on his face, which is a pretty unusual place to find a pillow, Trump said. I can't tell you I can't give you an answer. But at least he said something. At least he said something. So, ladies and gentlemen of the Savage Nation, something's wrong here. It's not just that Scalia died under suspicious circumstances because all standard procedures when someone dies, especially someone with this prominence, all of the standard procedures have been ignored. The fact that the body was immediately removed, embalmed, canceling a tox report, no autopsy, is reason enough to question the official story being shoved down our throats by the filthy, dirty, lying government media complex, all of whom belong in the ex-Soviet Union. Ask yourself only one question. It's the same question an, an ordinary homicide detective in the smallest community in America would ask if a man were found dead in his bed. Who would benefit from that man's death? That's the first thing a homicide detective asks. Let's say there's a man 79, his wife is uh, eight, 77. He's found dead with a pillow over his head the next morning. Are you telling me there'd be no, no autopsy? No investigation of an ordinary Joe Blow guy? They'd say, well, who benefits from it? Well, let's see. There's an insurance policy, uh, his property. Did he sign anything over a week before? That's standard procedure. You, you've gone to the movies, haven't you? you? You've gone to the movies. You've seen these things. So why are you suspending ordinary common sense today? Why have you suspended your common sense? Because you're buying the lie that it's a conspiracy theory to even ask the question? So if it's only a conspiracy theory, why don't you put it to rest? 
The answer is because there's something under the surface that they're hiding. Where is the GOP? Where is Ted Cruz? Where is Ted Cruz? I'm asking you a question. I'm asking you a simple question. There's no signs of foul play? Fine. There's no signs of foul play. There was no signs of foul play with the death of Pope John Paul I in 1978 either. Yet many people still wonder why he was elected and died one month into his papacy. Right? Another one says, oh, it's an old obese smoker who died. How is this a conspiracy? Well, I ask you, does anyone you know of sleep with a pillow over your face? Remember yesterday I said, not so in jest that the media is going to spin that and say, we're interviewing Italians all over America and they all sleep. The largest percentage of people of Italian descent sleep with pillows over their face. And they go around and do it and they, they're actually starting to do it. I swear to God, as God is my witness, I started to see blog reports that it, it's reported now we're in the... Do I have to do the parody? I'm really not in the mood. I'll do the parody maybe if I get in a better mood after I drink another cup of coffee. The liars in the media may as well be working in Guatemala. The reporters at the New York Times may as well be reporting for the Uruguay Gazette. The reporters at the Washington Post today, the, brand, the, 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 the quality they have at the Washington Post, they should be working for the Paraguay Times. That's what we have now in America. The Paraguay Times, the Uruguay Gazette. I would say Pravda or Izvestia, but I've done that for 20 years. It's gone over your head anyway. So I'll say it another way. The, fifth, uh, the fourth estate has become the fifth column. That's one of my originals. The fourth estate has become the fifth column. Now, that's an advanced question for an advanced listener of the Savage Nation. If you can't answer it, it means you don't know what you're talking about. In other words, if you can look down on me and say you're superior to me for even asking these questions, and you can't ask, answer yourself, what do I mean by the fourth estate has become the fifth column, then you have neutralized your ability to even question me. It means that you're an ignoramus. I'll be back in a minute to prove it. He says, Judge, I'm at Cibolo Creek Ranch, and a Supreme Court justice has just passed away, and I need someone here immediately. Uh, both Justice of the Peace are out of town at this time. Sheriff, what did you say? Which Supreme Court justice died at Cibolo Creek Ranch and the phone was dead? Hmm. Phone was dead. That's that's good. I write the novel. Or fiction writer could write. There's a story or there's a movie right away. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It would be a movie if we lived in a free country. If it wasn't a government media complex owned by Katzenberg, Katzenberg, Matzenberg, Ratzenberg, and Facebook then we'd have a movie. The, the nation would be clamoring for such a movie. Last night I watched The Treasure of the Sierra Madre, done in 1948, a masterpiece, when we still had filmmakers who did films of significance instead of pure propaganda to prop up a dictator. A benign, he's a benign dictator. He's only started wars, a, a, evaporated whole, whole cities. He's a very nice man. Very nice man. So you want me to drop this, or you want me to stay with it? You have to raise your hand. Make believe you're in an audience right now of several hundred thousand. I don't know what you're doing. I can't see it. I have to go with what I think. So let me give you a little bit more. Mr. Poindexter, the ranch owner who found Scalia's body, was also the primary point man between the ranch location and federal authorities who were sl slow to arrive on the scene. How come there's been no request for an autopsy, even though reports suggest that a Supreme Court justice was found with a, quote, pillow over his head, and he died alone without any witnesses. Something stinks here. It was Poindexter, the ranch owner, who we are not passing any aspersions on. He was among those who initially discovered the justice's body. He was the one who coordinated closely with, the ju with, the, with Cinderella. He was the one who called Cinderella. And by waving her wand, Cinderella decided he died of a heart attack and then changed her mind. That was without any medical examination of the body. Do you think the left would be screaming for an autopsy if, God forbid, it was Ruth Bader Ginsburg at a remote location and there was a Republican president? God forbid. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Do you get it? Okay, well, I could move on if you'd like, but I'm not going to. Stay with it a little bit longer if you can handle it. If you missed the article, it's on the Drudge Report from World Net Daily, was Scalia murdered? I figured why mince words. We're dealing in, in, with, in the media, what we're dealing with are questions and answers, statements and counter statements, right? So if I were in a cafe and it was amongst people.